In a previous video, we took a file that had a structure like this that had extra header rows. It had only two columns that we were really interested in. It had some information at the bottom that we wanted to remove and additional columns that we wanted to take out. We used Power Query to automate that process. Now this is a file that arrives weekly. So what happens now when you receive the next file a week later? If we take a look at what we previously did in Power Query, we have a number of steps. And here, it's cleaned up our data and it was ready to use. Now we'd like to refresh this data. How do we do this? If we take a look at our file, and I'm just going to change this to a number, we can easily see something change. And you'll notice that the file name is the same. And we do not need to be in Power Query to do this. We can actually just be in Power BI. If we right click, and click refresh, we should see that number change to 999. And there we go. Now you may be wondering what happens if your file name is different and you don't actually want to rename it to be the same as it was previously. Then you would need to go into Power Query and change this source. If you click here, this is where it tells it to go get your file. You can browse go point to the new file, and then it will run through all those steps and refresh. When you're done, you would click Close and Apply.